now we're going to do the scissor sweep. All right, again, you can hold either grip. Um, I'll just go off basic. Knee to the chest. So now we're going to go with the scissor sweep. So the basic way, a lot of you guys may have learned it already, you can just drop your leg around their leg and kick them right So that'll work on somebody that doesn't really know what they're doing, but somebody with good balance is going to need to do a little bit of adjusting. Okay, so once I get into this position, I don't just want to drop my leg down. It makes it easier for him to step over. So once I'm in this position, now what I want to do is I want to stretch my body out. So I push my knee into the chest, and I stretch my body out to create a better angle. The more you can get the guy stretched out, the, the more off balance it's going to be. So from here, I put my foot on the hip. I scoop myself up, stretch myself out. Then I'm going to put my foot on the inside of his leg, and I push his leg that way. So I don't want to push his leg straight towards the wall. I want to push it out that way a little bit. Then I just kick my leg over. That's easy sweep. So think about trying to angle yourself away from the person. Get in, put on the hip, and stretch out. And I'm using my knee to block him so he can't come around this way. If I stay like this, he's able to just follow me. He just keeps walking around that way. We'll just go in circles. Once you get in your basic position, stretch yourself out, foot on the hip, scoot your hips away, create more space. Then put foot on the move from the hip to like right uh, above his knee, push his leg out more to the side, and then kick your top leg up and into the arm. Follow him up. Try to maintain your grips as you come up. You guys got it? One, two, three. Always try to don't try to just like sweep the person quick. Okay? You want to get into a position. You want to get complete control of their of their body from this position. Okay? When you get the person really stretched out, the more I do this, the more awkward I am. I'm in a great position. He's in a very vulnerable position. He's got like one hand that he can use to try to do anything. Like this hand's controlled. His lower body's controlled with my feet. And he's very like off balance and uh, unstable here. Okay, so don't be in a rush. When you, when you go for this, when you open your legs up, just worry about getting in a position where you have control over the person. You do that by putting pressure in their chest, and pulling towards you, foot on the hip. Take your time, Keep, like kind of just wiggle yourself into position. Right? Use your top leg a little bit more. So once I start pushing this leg out, see, look what happens. Like there's no base going this way. So he's he got base on that side, base on this side. He's got his hand on this side, but there's nothing holding him up right here. So as I extend, even if I get my leg completely extended, he hasn't fallen over yet, just take the top leg and kick it into his armpit. And that'll take him right over. So if you're having a little bit of trouble, use your top leg more. Once you get him stretched out, put your foot on the knee, push it out, and then kick up into the armpit. Sometimes you'll get a guy, his leg stretched out completely. You push his leg out completely, and there's nothing else. Uh, you can't go any further. Sometimes if you put your foot back on the hip, you're able to... People with shorter legs, sometimes the hip works a little bit better than the knee. So, focus on using your top leg a little bit more from the beginning. So, the first thing you do is knee in the chest. Use the knee in the chest, create a lot of tension there. Put in the hip, keep wiggling yourself out, create that angle, push the leg, and then really use your top leg a little bit 